All right, guys, so we're gonna, I'll do number one for you, and then you do number two on your own, okay? So let's read the question. For each pair of similar figures, find the area of the shaded figure. Oh, shoot, which one is shaded? I think this one is shaded. Yeah, shaded, shaded. All right, so how are we gonna do this here? You're gonna find the area of this figure. So first step, you can just find the scale factor right now. So the scale factor is two to six, right? Two to six. Always try to simplify your scale factor. Okay, always try to do that. Now to find your ratio of your area, you're gonna take that, one third, you square it, boom, one ninth. Now you take that ratio of your area, set up a proportion. You're going small to big, small to big. So it's gonna be 20 over A2. Cross multiply, bang, bang, A2 equals 180 inches squared, okay? Bam. Okay, hit pause here when you're good. Hit pause, try example two on your own, and then we'll come back to check, okay? All right, so let's check the answer for number two. It is 5,152 feet squared. To get that, took my scale factor. Okay, 20 over 16, we'll go left to right. 20 over 16, simplify. Always try to simplify first. Okay, so it's five over four. To find the ratio of your areas, square it. Boom, 25 over 16. Then you set up your proportion, cross, multiply. Solve for x, boom. Okay, let's see a different type of an example now. Some examples, you're gonna be given the area. Like they'll give you both areas and you need to go backwards to find the missing side. So again, remember going backwards, before we used to take the scale factor and we squared it, right? Now, if you have the ratio of the area, to go backwards, what do you need to do? Take the square root, okay? So let's take a look here. You find the areas real quick. You're gonna go 64 over 49. You know, see if you can simplify first. Uh, but sometimes even, if you notice that it's a perfect square already, like 64 is a perfect square, 49 is a perfect square. Boom, right? Yes, square root that ratio of your area. You're gonna get eight over seven to be your scale factor. Once you have that scale factor, eight over seven, now you can set up your proportion, 10 over x, cross multiply, you can get x equals 8.75 meters, okay? So those are the examples of going backwards, okay? So I'm gonna do example one, you do example three, you can probably cross out example two, just to save some time. Let's read the question here. For each pair of similar figures, use the given area to find the scale factor. So use the areas to find the scale factor from the unshaded to the shaded figure. Okay, unshaded to the shaded. I believe this is the shaded one. This is the shaded one. This is the shaded one. So again, you have the areas. Boom, boom. You're gonna go up. It says what unshaded to shaded. So we're gonna go 54, that's the unshaded, over 516. Okay, this looks like a pretty gnarly number. Okay, that, this is your ratio of your area. See if you can simplify this. Oops, sorry, this is supposed to be a 216. Uh, it turns out, I'm using my calculator real quick. Mm, 216 divided by 54. Ooh, that works. So you can actually divide both by 54, it will be one over four. So now what I need to do to find your scale factor, you gotta take the square root. So square root of one, square root of four, one over two. So once you find your scale factor, so one half is your scale factor, you're going from unshaded to shaded, so eight over X, cross multiply, X would be 16. 16 inches to be exact. 
Okay. All right, try number three. It might be slightly tricky. You have a radical you might have to deal with. Okay, so do your best with this. All right, guys. Let's check the answer for number three here. So you start off with the ratio of your area. Okay, that's like k squared. It's probably a good symbol for it. 300 over 900 here. So let's find the scale factor. So 300 over 900. Boom. Simplify the 3 over 9. Okay, pretty good. Notice how I didn't simplify the 1 third. Because you could do that, but when you take the square root, it would be... It would be this here. It would be 1 over radical 3. You would have to rationalize it in the end because you do not want a radical at the bottom. So it would be 3 over radical 3. Basically, once you have a perfect square here, once you have a perfect square, just keep that. And then in the end, it becomes 3 anyways. So now this is your scale factor. So you set that up here. Uh, I went from shaded to unshaded for this one, just left to right. So unshaded to shaded, the x here, oh sorry, shaded to unshaded. So shaded to unshaded on the right side should be from shaded to unshaded. Cross multiply, boom, solve for x, 7 radical 3. Okay, hopefully that was good. Uh, keep working hard, good job finishing the notes, and have a good rest of your day.